This week on Maker Update, a neural synthesizer from Google, a 3D printed horse, welding plastic, a charcoal fume extractor, a constellation necklace, extending your drill by a foot, Eagle 9, and soldering unicorns. I'm Donald Bell and welcome to another Maker Update. I hope you're all doing great. Last week, everyone seemed to really like this idea of me covering more projects in less time, so I'm gonna try that again this week with five great projects. That said, I am going to start experimenting with alternating weeks for when I publish Maker Update videos to help free up some more time to make project videos. So no Maker Update video next week. I am still gonna do the weekly email though. So if you've been on the fence about the email list, now's the time to sign up. I've got a great show for you this week though. So let's get started with the advanced project of the week. This Neural Synthesizer or NSynth is a project from Google's Magenta research team. It uses a Raspberry Pi 3 and TensorFlow machine learning software to explore and compare the sonic characteristics between different sounds. The main interface is a square touchpad that allows you to blend together qualities from the instruments mapped to the four corners. But you also get a bunch of rotary encoders and a little OLED screen to dial in more advanced features. There's a ton of project documentation, CAD files, and software listed in the show notes. All right, more projects, but rapid fire. One of my favorite 3D printmakers, Greg Zumwalt, has a new design out on Instructables. It's a mechanical horse driven by a 6-volt DC geared motor. Maker NerdyCat has a useful guide and demo video showing how to cut and weld milk jug plastic using a soldering iron. There are some cool design techniques going on here like these tabs that allow you to create curved pieces that you can spot weld with your iron. The Ruiz brothers have a quick and simple guide for creating a solder fume extractor that has a carbon filter. The mini desktop fan costs $9 from Adafruit and is already pre-built and ready to go. What this guide does is show you how to print an accessory for it that holds a section of carbon filter in front of the fan, making it more effective for removing fumes. Finally, my friend and Instructables team member Penelope Molnick has a great guide on making this 3D printed constellation necklace. This one is for the constellation Cassiopeia, but it could be easily adapted for others. A quick 3D print, some rhinestones, and a necklace chain are all you really need to pull this off, and it looks great. It's time for another cool tool review. This time we're taking a look at this 12-inch bit holder by Irwin. It runs around $9 on Amazon, and if you use the link in the description to pick one up, it helps support my videos and the Cool Tools blog. This is a foot-long extension for your drill or impact driver. On one end, you have a quick change style bit that you can pop into your tool. On the other is a bit holder that takes any standard hex bit. There's a spring-loaded collar around the bit holder that locks in whatever you're using. You pull back to open it up, you push in the bit, and let the collar go to lock it in. That same motion shoots it back out. There's also a small magnet down in the throat of the bit holder that helps to hold the bit in place. This is a great way to drill a hole or tighten a screw somewhere inaccessible, so long as it has a hex shank, you can put a drill bit in here or a spade bit and make a hole. You can also put one of these magnetic screw holders on here and dangle the screw out to somewhere hard to reach without it falling off. You can drop in a socket bit and tighten up an out of reach nut or bolt. And for a real neat trick, you can combine this with a right angle adapter and drill hard to reach places inside walls. That's the Irwin 12 inch bit holder. I suspect the brand isn't that important, but at around $9, I think this Irwin one is a good name brand value. You can find the Amazon link for this one, plus links to the other adapters I mentioned all in the description here. And remember, you can see thousands of reader recommended tools like this at cool-tools.org. I have a few more tips to share this week. Autodesk has released version 9 of their Eagle software for printed circuit board design. I'm not familiar enough with it to say whether it's good or bad, but it does look like there are a lot of improvements. Hackspace issue 6 is out and free to download. The special section in this issue is paper engineering. On Hackaday, I saw that there's a port of the Smart Matrix library for the inexpensive ESP32 processor. If you're looking to make cool visuals for a grid of multicolor LEDs, this looks like an effective and low-cost way to do it. Did you know that SparkFun stocks a unicorn LED blinky badge soldering kit? Well, they do, and it's on back order, but if you love unicorns or know someone who does, you can ask to be notified when it comes back in stock. Google's AIY Vision and Voice Kits are now available from Target, which is great because the Vision Kit has been tough to get up to now. And maker Jim Lemus has finished the fourth and I think final part of his guide on working with 3D printed animatronics using Arduino. I've got a link to the series playlist plus the files over on Thingiverse. Maker Fairs, huge weekend for Maker Fairs, including Shanghai, China, 
West Palm Beach, Florida, Hinshu, Taiwan, Newcastle upon Tyne in the UK, Mashpee, Massachusetts, Tyler, Texas, Gibsons, British Columbia, Burlington, North Carolina, Dillinger, Saar, Germany, and Fresno, California. If there's one near you, get out there and soak it in. All right, that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up. Get yourself a bit extender if that's a useful tool for you. You can buy me a coffee if you feel like this was an episode worthy of a coffee. And the only maker update you're going to get from me next week is by email. So get on that email list if you want to hear from me. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.